So the last lecture for the geometry and trigonometry unit is on applications of trigonometry. And uh, the Minds On sort of talks about a number of ways, a um, uh, number of, of applications of trigonometry that you may or may not be aware of. Um, and the action is just really um, some sample questions. So let's get into these sample questions here. Um, there's one uh, using primary trigonometry, one that uses the sine law, and one that uses the cosine law. But they don't say specifically what they use. So you have to figure out which, um, which of our three trig methods we're going to use to solve for this problem, for each problem. So here it says a child flies a kite at an angle of 15 degrees, and the kite is 180 meters long. How high is the kite from the ground? So we start by drawing a diagram. Um, this is part of our solution. And we can see that uh, um, the string is 180 meters long. Uh, we have a 15 degree angle. We need to find the height. And this would involve a right angle because our height is directly perpendicular uh, to the ground. So if we have a right angle, you should first think of primary trigonometric ratios. And let's see what we know in this triangle and what we don't. Um, this part of the triangle here, the height, is opposite of the 15. The 180 meters is the hypotenuse. So there's a sine ratio that uses opposite and hypotenuse, and that's the sine, uh, or sorry, the, the sine ratio uses the opposite and hypotenuse. So what we would do is then write sine of theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. We would replace those with 15 degrees h and 180, rearrange that, and then solve to get 47 meters. Um, so when we have a non-right angle triangle, then we have to figure out if it's the cosine law or the sine law. So for non-right angle triangles, um, uh, let's look at this problem here. So a lot of these don't actually have triangle, like uh, there's no, there's nothing, there's no image drawn out. So you have to draw your image and it gets a little bit more difficult. This is actually a particularly difficult problem. Um, so it says a helicopter travels 25 kilometers at a direction that is 24 degrees east of north. It then turns, uh, it then turns and travels 12 kilometers directly west. How far is the helicopter from its original location to the nearest kilometer? So a turn, um, so when we sketch this problem out, the first thing we have to do is figure out what is the direction of the, the 25 kilometer uh, motion. And it is at 24 degrees east of north. So if we consider up to be north, then an angle of 24 degrees to that line uh, would be um, shown like this. But that 24 degrees is not in our triangle because our triangle we're trying to solve um, is bounded by the 25, the 12, and the distance from the origin to the end of that 12 kilometer. So let's draw the rest of that out. We draw a 25 kilometer length, a 12 kilometer length. They don't have to be accurate, but we need to label them properly. And then we draw the line that connects the, the end of the 12 kilometers to the origin. So now we have two side lengths, 25 and 12, but we have no interior measures and no other side length. So we need to find an interior measure. And what you might remember from um, grade 9 or grade 8, depending on, on when you would have seen this, uh, the, the transversal parallel theorems. Um, so there, these, are, these lines that have been added here are transverse lines, and they are parallel. So we can form patterns with those lines. Um, if we have a transverse parallel line pattern like that makes a Z pattern, so the Z is formed by this line, the 25 kilometer line, and this line, then the interior angles of that would be 24 degrees. So this 24 degrees could be this 24 degrees. And then we have an opposite angle theorem that tells us that the opposite of an angle um, would be 24 degrees in this case. We also know that because the 12 kilometers is at a cardinal direction of east, there's a 90 degree angle between uh, this parallel line and the 12 kilometer line. So using the, that knowledge and the idea that a straight line um, has an angle of 180 degrees, 
we can find out uh, the interior angle here. So that 66 is 180 minus the 90 minus the 24. That gives us our interior angle of 66 degrees. Now we have a side, a side, and the angle between it. So we can use the cosine law. So our cosine law, in this case, is written as x squared equals 25 squared plus 12 squared minus 2 times 25 times 12 times cosine of 66 degrees. Find the square root of that. We end up with 22.91, which rounds to 23 kilometers. Uh, we'll do another problem. Uh, this one here involves, um, well, let's, let's look at this. I don't think we need to draw a picture for this one necessarily, but uh, let's, uh, let's look at what this problem says. It says there's a person who's 45 meters from a tree that is at the base of a canyon. So they're, they're, they're higher than this tree, and their distance to the tree is 45 meters. Um, their angle of declination to the tree is 72 degrees. The tree is 51 meters away from the opposite canyon edge. So what is the angle of declination to the nearest degree from the opposite canyon edge to the tree if both edges of the canyon are at the same vertical height? So essentially, we have a triangle. Um, we have a 45 meter length, a 51 meter length. And the 72 degrees happens to be opposite of the 51 meters. So we, we don't need to um, necessarily draw out the triangle if you can recognize that the 71 and 51 are an angle side pair. So right away, we can tell we're going to need to use the sine law. And because we're solving for an angle, we'll use the sine law for angles, where we write the sine in the numerator. So this here could be solved as sine of theta over 45 equals sine of 72 over 51. Rearranging that and solving for, sine, for the inverse sine gives us 57 degrees. So now uh, I want to try uh, each of these problems out. So. To solve for this, what we need to do first is uh, we need to draw out our triangles for each of these. So let me just, um, what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to alter my screen so that I can pull up oops, just what I need to see here. So we'll do one question at a time. And I will put this behind, or I will move this down. OK, so our question is that we have a rocket that's launched. Move this remote up underneath. have a rocket that's launched directly uh, vertically into the air. Um, oops, I didn't mean to highlight that. Uh, and. Um, the distance is 31 meters from the launch point. The rocket, rocket's uh, angle of inclination is 56 degrees. How high is the rocket to the nearest meter? So we, um, we know that this rocket has been launched. The distance away from the rocket is 32 meters. We don't know the height. That needs to be solved. But we know that the angle of inclination is 56 degrees. This doesn't look like a 56 degree angle, but this is just a sketch. First thing I can tell is this is a right angle triangle. So I would use a primary trig ratio. And because my h is opposite of the 56 and 32 is adjacent, I'll be using the tan ratio. So tan of 56 degrees equals opposite over adjacent. So h, in this case, equals 32 times tan of 56 degrees. So 32 times 56 tan gets me to a height of 47 after I round, because it says to the nearest meter. So that's our first problem. Uh, let's work on the next one. Uh, for question two, it says that we have a boat 
that is five, five sorry, five point three kilometers away from a lighthouse. So let's label some points here. There's going to be a boat and a lighthouse. So here's my. We'll make this the lighthouse. I'll call that point L. We'll make this the boat. I'll call that point B. And it says there's a plane somewhere at point P. This distance is five is five point three kilometers. Uh, the distance from B to P, I think we have to solve. Let's just read this question again here. Um, the distance between, uh, so a plane flying between the lighthouse and the boat is 40.1 kilometers away. So this here is a 4.1. And it says, um, what is the distance from the boat to the plane if the angle between the lighthouse and the boat is 118 degrees? So this is a 118 degree angle. So using this setup here, the first thing I can notice is I have an angle side pair with side P and angle P. And I need to solve for this X. But here's the interesting part. I don't have either the angle or the side for that. So I have to do a, a step first. I need to first solve for angle B. So I'm going to call this beta, and I'm going to call this theta. So I need to solve for B first. So using this angle side pair, um, I know that sine of 118 degrees over 5.3 is equal to um, sine of beta over 4.1. So I know that beta equals the inverse sine of 4.1 times sine of 118 over 5.3. So let's write this out. Um, 4.1 times 118 sine divided by 5.3, close the brackets, and then find the inverse sine of that. It gets me to 43 degrees. So beta equals 43 degrees. Now I need to find out what theta is in order to find out what x is later. So to find out what that um, that angle is, I need to use the idea that there are 180 degrees in a triangle. So if I subtract 118 degrees and 43 degrees from that, I'll be left with what my theta is. So let's say we have theta. So I'll take um, uh, this value, subtract it from 180 and subtract 118 from that. I end up with 19 degrees for theta. So now I have enough information to, for the, to solve for x. Because x equals sine of 19 degrees, 5.3 over sine of 118 degrees. And then to solve for x, I have 5.3 over sine of 118 degrees times sine of 19 degrees. Putting that in the calculator, I get 5.3 divided by 118 sine times 19 sine, and I end up with uh, 1.95 or 2.0 kilometers. Uh, let's look at the last one. Um, so this one here says that we have a, um, a surveyor measuring the distance from one end of a lake to another. And basically, um, we have our length of our lake would be between these two points, we can say. Um, we have a measurement here, which is 
270, another measurement, which is 380. 380 meters, 270 meters. And the angle between them is 132 degrees. So this tells me I should use the cosine law. Right away I can tell because I have an angle uh, with two, two adjacent sides. So uh, this is my x. So my x squared equals 270 squared plus 380 squared minus 2 times 270 times 380 times the cosine of 132 degrees. Um, so I'm going to find the square root of all of this. That's a squared. Minus 2. Sorry, this pencil is not very sharp. So I have um, bracket 270 times 270 plus 380 times 380 minus 2 times 270 times 380 times 132 cosine. Close the bracket and find the square root. I end up with a measurement of, uh, after rounding, 595 meters. And that's the solution for that. So at this point, um, you should be able to uh, uh, complete this last lesson. And the uh, final test for this unit uh, will be, information will be posted online. So please look for that.